thank you for staying with us. We are now looking into a new technology that has been invented to help you, the farmer, and you, the end consumer. We are looking into the e-dairy solutions. I'm speaking to uh, Simon. He's the CEO of the uh, Dairy Solutions, the Upkins Solutions. He will help us to know what does that mean and how the company has been able to move forward for the time they have been in operation. Good evening, sir. Good evening. Good evening. It's a pleasure to have you here. Thank you. I, I must say I am honored to have the best brains here. <laughs> with me. Now, um, there has been a problem in our country. Most of, most of us, majority of us, if not all, we have a problem of excellency in what we do. If I'm a farmer, I want to sell milk. I, I see I have 10 liters, but I want to make uh, a profit of 15 liters. I end up quite a match. And it has been like a problem to every other sector. We have a way of doctoring um, produces to make sure we get more profit on a road deal. Now, tell us about the new innovation that you have come up with to help the farmer if the milk has a problem to selling to someone else or if I'm the consumer, how am I benefiting from this new technology? Uh, thank you very much. Uh, uh, Upking Solutions, uh just to say s something small about it, it is a software development company mm -hmm. and uh, we provide uh, different solutions from uh, ERP solution that uh, completely runs the, all the affairs of an organization mm -hmm. uh, to small individual components of solutions mm -hmm. and our major solutions uh, is a Microsoft technology, mm -hmm. Microsoft Dynamics uh, Business Central. Mm -hmm. that is formerly known as Navision. Mm -hmm. So uh, we, look at, uh, the, we looked at the market and you see the market has a lot of component and we realized that uh, the agriculture bit mm -hmm. uh, is currently straining. If, uh, if uh, my grandmother can receive money in M-Pesa mm -hmm. and interpret that there is money and go and uh, withdraw it, then she should be in a position to uh, receive uh, information uh, about agriculture. Uh, her farming needs to be uh, structured. Mm -hmm. She needs to receive information that is relevant on what she does. But most importantly, when she actually d gets a product out of the process, mm -hmm. uh, the return needs to be. Uh, you find uh, traditionally uh, farmers take their milk to uh, dairy cooperatives, uh, or the processing uh, uh, companies. Mm -hmm. And uh, at the end of the month, there is a lot of back and forth, even in terms of the amount of milk you supplied, mm -hmm. because this has to translate into the amount that gets to you. True. So uh, you find sometimes, even in the recording, the farmer is illiterate as a person, mm -hmm. uh, may, may not be aware of a lot of things that are being written, the manual writing. Mm -hmm. uh, you supplied 15 liters by the they recorded 10. Mm -hmm. uh, so at the end of the month, there is, if it is consistent daily, then there is a lot of loss. Mm -hmm. So we came up with a solution, the e-dairy. And so this e-dairy, uh, uh, is, is a solution that is, is, is now helping the uh, small dairy cooperatives mm -hmm. or the big dairy uh, uh, farms where uh, from uh, we have a solution that runs the processing mm -hmm. but then we, we have a mobile solution uh, that, we ho that we have an app within a gadget that has a printer like you we see for the for the for the kanjo when they when you pay parking in mm -hmm. some cities you, you pay it there right. and yeah. it prints for you uh the the, the ticket mm -hmm. so you would go there with a digital weighing scale you weigh the farmer's milk mm -hmm. it automatically reads from the scale mm -hmm. uh, submit the only thing you do because all these farmers uh, are also registered with these cooperatives right. so you pick just their farmer number it will give you the detail you the weighing is done there it stabilizes you just submit and it submits directly onto the system mm -hmm. so the uh, and when you submit it prints a receipt from the system that you live with the farmer so uh, the uh, the farmer will automatically easily have 
they are on daily record right. that does not have any manual intervention or manual writing. Mm -hmm. And uh, also at the end of the month, when we run the farmer's payroll, mm -hmm. it also uh, gives the same information in an SMS to the farmer back. Right. So the farmer, even without visiting the farm, uh, the farm or the, the cooperative, mm -hmm. will be in a position to validate from the receipts that they already have. Mm -hmm. This also gives them an opportunity to, to now engage with the farmer more conclusively because uh, there are some farmers uh, who may not even be in a position to buy a few, even a few dairy products. So, uh, in case of cooperatives, we you even give them, but st structurally we are able to recover this money when you run now their payroll, mm -hmm. and they are able to receive the deduction on their SMS, confirming that if it is a, a food, if it is foliage, whatever it is, mm -hmm. uh, you took for this amount, and this is the deduction. But, but, but I have a question. Yes. Uh, from my house, I might, I might have a measured, say, 20 liters. Mm -hmm. They have their own scale. I'm, com I'm confident that my, 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 and I'm certain truly, I, had, I have 20 liters. But when I get to the dairy, they, they will say it is 18, it is 17. Is your machine workable to favor the farmer or it will work according to the dairies? Uh, majorly, the, the standard uh, scale, actually, actually we use Bluetooth enabled scale mm -hmm. because this device actually reads the reading on that scale electronically. Mm -hmm. So From uh, the dealer? Yeah, exactly. The, 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 col the milk collection team mm -hmm. move with the scales. It's a small scale. Yeah, which, which, which has been manipulated? Uh, the digital stems that nowadays come is, is not, it may not be easy to manipulate. Uh, I, I'm asking because even in the butcheries, we, we, we get cheated. <laughs> we get cheated. And you end up getting the raw deal. Uh, 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 yeah, that, that may be a, uh, a challenge <laughs> that is, that is, that is, uh, that I don't, uh, that is a problem that we have not encountered. I've never had a case where mm -hmm. there is a problem with the scale because most of the, uh, these scales come already programmed and standardized. Okay. So uh, there is no test setting mm -hmm. internally of how this scale uh, will do the weighing. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So uh, that bit. Uh, so that bit is uh, the scale is consumed the way it is. So it completely eliminates. But again, mm -hmm. uh, there would not be a reason for the person doing collections mm -hmm. to manipulate the scale because it does not benefit them. Because the information once it is read, it is submitted. So it will just be a report that everyone consumes. So there is no need of, an, of, of even a cooperative collectively agreeing to interfere with a scale to mm -hmm. benefit everyone, uh, to benefit it as a, as a, as a, as a cooperative mm -hmm. and injure the farmer because uh, co these cooperatives or these farms uh, have an interest to ensure that the farmer survives, the farmer is able to continue farming. Mm -hmm. So the major problem has had been from the collection team. All right. You find the collection team, uh, they collude as themselves, uh, make small erroneous records, mm -hmm. uh, then, uh, then uh, benefit from, or they, uh, they collude with the farmer, and say for your collections every day, really if you give five, We'll record for you 15, but you give me that money at the end of the month. We share it. Oh. Such kind of uh, situations. Now, in the in the interest of time, now that your your innovation is interfering with an existing uh, business of uh, duping farmers, how has been the reception? How have you encountered the challenges? Uh, collectively, I would say that the management of these cooperatives and uh, milk processing farms mm -hmm. need accountability. Because this is a process of a middle middleman in between, mm -hmm. so uh, uh, if you know, you know, you know, it is easy to to, to challenge something that give room for doubt. Uh, but when collectively uh, the profit comes out uh, uh, strong, mm -hmm. uh, there is no way a middle someone in between will mm -hmm. convince a management that mm -hmm. 
they cannot use this process. Uh, also, uh, as part of this innovation that we are doing, mm -hmm. uh, we are also giving the farmers, the farmers that are able to have smartphones, mm -hmm. uh, they also have these apps where we are in, we, we do, uh, you, know, you know, like um, the practices also vary with the location of the farmer. Mm -hmm. There is a farmer in Meru and there is a farmer in Kitale. Uh, there is how uh, there is a variation mm -hmm. on on how they need to treat their livestock, the the, the daily practice. So we also have information mm -hmm. on how to handle the, the first aid, mm -hmm. uh, what to do, how when you observe specific behavior from your your from your car, uh, your dairy cow, mm -hmm. uh, what you need to first do. So it 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 empowers the farmer first. Mm -hmm. Even before they come into now, they are the automating process. And again, from this app also, they are able to look at their statements mm -hmm. from the dairy. They can even print their last year payslip. Mm -hmm. so yes. It's, uh, it's, 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 it's helping farmers in having good uh, mm -hmm. record of their produce, and um, it has ended some cartels, if yeah. I could say, <laughs> and, and that's a good thing. I, I, I would have loved us to continue. There are mm -hmm. so many things we need to know as far as these technologies of concern, but apparently we are out of time. Mm -hmm. uh, maybe we can organize some other time to get more of this idea and look into it. Maybe your final words. Uh, my final word is um, because the financial sector has completely gone digital, mm -hmm. we can also go digital with agriculture. Let us uh, uh, think outside of the contemporary processes mm -hmm. and uh, look at things and get the solution. At Upkings Solutions Limited, we have the solution. Mm -hmm. uh, just have a discussion with us and we'll be able to be of help. All right, thank you so much for coming and highlighting and helping the young people even to know they are still have the potential to come up with ideas that can help the society at large. The, he has been my guest, Simon Okor, the CEO of Upkin Solution. And I'll be seeing you again next week on Monday. Until then, have yourself a very good evening and the rest of the week. May it be awesome for you. My name is Dereva Hilavi. Goodbye. Oh, <laughs>